Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. And we've got an opponent of Luthien with some Gabos. Maybe it's a sign. Who knows? But we have a keepable hand with all our mana and a gem hide with a nice lead the stampede. We will keep it and see what happens. Luthien's going first. We lost the die roll. They play a Radiant. Hmm. Hmm. Radiant. What plays Radiant? Tron? Hmm. What else? Gonna lead with the Thriving Grove here and get set up. Uh, we're gonna call... We have the red, so I think I'm just gonna call white here. And pass. See if we can find out what, uh, what they're on about. Who else plays the Radiant? Boros Aggro? They play Radiant, don't they? Ah, Forgotten Cave. Is this a combo? Or is this just red? Oh, oh, oh. I'm concerned. Cycling land. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see you. Um. Let's run out a lord. Be man efficient. We'll set up for a gem high play next turn into another lord. If he doesn't die. Which he might if we're up against red. But let's see. Let's see if this is burn. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen burn plain radiant fountain. Alchemist vial. Draw a card. Target creature can't attack or block this turn when you sack it for one and tap it. And a boros garrison. All right, so we got the boros. We got the boros here. I called that. Called that a little bit. They're on a pretty slow start. Which is fine by me. We're going to go ahead and run this guy out. And just get our board set up a little bit more here. Beautiful. Pass it over. We got the three threes. Soon to be three fours. If they live. Let's see if they get a creature out here. They can play the Forgotten Cave again, but it comes in tapped. So a little bit of a mana struggle for them, this game. There's the Forgotten Cave Cycle with a Thraben Inspector. Launching it out. Let's see. Yo, what'd I say? Getting to know these decks a little bit, you know? What else you got for me? Land Cycle. Alright. For a Snow-Covered Plains... Into another Thraven Inspector. Alright, got some little chump blockers here. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Oh, another muscle? Okay. Oh, man. So much to do. So much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Mm. Winding way. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Give me all of this. Yeah. All right. Let's pump out everybody we can do. Empty the hand. Empty the hand. Empty the hand. And swing. Swing better, better, better. Swing. Oh, what a beautiful hit. You love to see it. Yeah, five sevens in case you didn't know because the text on here is so weird now. They are going to chump block because who wants to take ten? You know, when you've got so much coming in at you next turn. A lot of work to do with our five sevens. I think we're going. I don't think you can do much from this point on. We gotta lead the stampede in our hand, too. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Faithless looting for what? I, I don't know what you could get, really. In this deck. I'm really not sure. What a beautiful setup that was, though. There we go. There's the sideboard. Alright. Boros aggro. Let's take a look. <sighs> 
Do they run Journey to Nowhere in their sideboard? I think they kind of do. You can destroy some of their artifacts, some of their card draw. Might be worth taking in. Spinneret's good for their flyers. Take out our Sentinels, not as necessary. What am I worried about with Hunter? Not much, really. Not much, really. I think we can cut Hunter. I think we can cut Hunter. Uh, Prismatic is my only other thing that I'm thinking about. One in, one winding way out. 60 cards. Anything else I could cut? Hmm. Let's rock it. Let's do it. Feeling good. Off of that one, I'm feeling good. Alright, deciding whether or not to play first, we have... <sighs> I mean, it's a keeper. It's just a... It's it, It's not much else here besides the two gem hides. Our mana's gonna be fixed perfectly. We'll go Thriving Heath Call Red, play Forest. This winding way is pretty important. Can we do better, though, is the question. We have the winding way, so I'll keep. Our man is right. We got gem hides. We got a winding way. Could easily be undermined by a couple lightning bolts. But at least they have a better start this time. They're not allowing us to get set up as, as hard. Already got the Thraben out. That puts a new spin on things. When you got the untapped land, play the untapped land in slivers. Typically, it's my play. Uh, if you have a one drop. If you don't have a one drop, obviously, you're playing the Thriving. But since we do have a one drop and then we can go... Turn one, Viverlint, turn two, gem hide, and potentially another one drop... It's good enough for me. Let's do it. Again, a couple lightning bolts could screw us over here. Refill's gonna be heavy. Gotta be good. Gotta be a good heavy winding way here. Ah, there's the journey. Good thing I bought in those gleeful sabotages. Not a great target for journey, though. Honestly. If we get a one drop, I'm going to be kind of mad, but... Let's see what happens. Playing a journey on my Viverlance tells me they probably got some more removal. Gem hide. Go ahead. See how we can get set up here in this game. Uh, I see a prophetic prism. Uh, next turn, we'll play a thriving unless we pull into an untapped land again. And then we'll just do a winding way, I think. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Alright, thriving heath. Call red. I still kind of want to just do a winding way. Okay. Alright. If our guys can survive, we can start doing the Heart Sliver play again, which is scary to deal with. Very scary. So just don't kill my guys. We can play Heart Sliver no matter what, which is nice. But we need our gem hide to stay alive. That's gonna be key. I don't blame them for targeting it, though. If they've got some removal, they should use it on the gem hide. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Gem hide. Unless you got a follow-up. Glenhawk. Returning. Prophetic. All right. They're allowing us the opportunity to get set up, and uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work out for them here. 
All right. Thriving Grove, calling white. Get an extra white out here, you know? And then we're going to start dropping the bombs. Uh, I don't want to play this here. Boom. There we go. So we can play... Lord. Into... Lord. Into... Sidewinder. Into... A nice little hasty attack for three. Setting up another extremely gnarly board for them. Now, prone to removal. Lightning Bolt. Still can kill everything. Um, but hey, we got the gem hide here still. We got a muscle on board. We got a lead. So, now they got two problems right here. They got the gem hide problem and they got the heart problem. Heart is probably their bigger issue. Because they can leave us with some mana... But giving us all this extra mana for each creature that comes down with Heart Sliver is bonkers. So the back-to-back -back Heart Sliver games is really, really outgunning the Boros Aggro here. Which is beautiful. I'm not going to complain. And they tapped out of red. Uh, no, not quite. Not quite. I take that back. I'm sorry. Alright, so... How do we want to run this? I wonder... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just drop him down. Why not? Did I tap the wrong thing? Oh, we got Thriving Grove. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get the refill going. You know, why not? Haha, <laughs> okay. We just lost a Gleeful. And we picked up a Plated. So, you know. What are you, what are you gonna do there? Uh, we're just gonna play the Plated here. I don't want to tap two more creatures for just one more. I'd rather swing in with all this boy. All this boy. That's a lot of boy. And by boy, I mean monstrous, slithering aliens coming for blood. What can you do here? Anything? Not really. Not really. You can maybe kill one thing. You can block a lord, lightning bolt it block another thing. Everything goes down. Fine, so be it. Might be what they're doing here. Prophetic Pism, tap, block, block, kill a lord. Oh, that's right. The flanking comes into play, too. Always forgetting about that flanking. Not gonna help them here. Uh, no. No removal. Three life. Luthien, 2-4. Good game, sir. Good game. That was a fun one. Five cards in hand, but again, it's like, what, what can you do in this situation? Bunch of four fives. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Wow. Leave a like on that one, please. That was some dirty business with our heart sliver. That was nasty. But yeah, leave a like. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Try and hit the 1K. If you're new here, that's our goal. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.